rabbit faced people tucked away in the backyard of some countries, Mrs. Beaver. The Solomon Islands Prime Minister criticizes Australia's response to its recent defense deal with China. The Prime Minister makes a vow to help pensioners following the RBA's rate rise decision. Candidates for Sydney's contested Hunter seat showdown in the Sky News battleground debate clashing over climate change. It's midnight Eastern Daylight Time. This is Newsnight. I'm Anna Rawlings. In Fox Sports News tonight, Australia tags out both men's and women's titles at the Margaret River Pro with Jack Robinson and Isabella Nichols crowned champions. And Fremantle's COVID drama deepens with six players now set to miss their clash with North Melbourne. Also tonight, we'll take a look at the morning newspapers, including The Australian, that reports school leavers could be forced to pass a literacy and numeracy test before enrolling in teaching degrees at university under a coalition plan to improve teaching standards. And in weather, a cold outbreak for the southeast till Saturday with showers, storms, snow and potentially hail on the forecast. Details, Channel 601. Live, this is Newsnight. Solomon Islands Prime Minister Manessa Sagavare has launched a tirade on Australia in Parliament accusing it of undermining his government and criticising the Western response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In his speech, he lambasted Australia's attitude towards Solomon Islands as being its backyard. We must do so as an independent sovereign nation, not as a group of black-faced people tucked away in the backyard of some countries, Mrs. Beaton. Oh, by the way, sir, the term is offensive to us. Very offensive. A custom backyard is where toilet is. It is where pig and chicken pens are located. It is where rubbish are collected and burned. Mr. Sogavare has taken an increasingly aggressive stance toward Australia since signing a security pact with China. He took aim at Deputy Prime Minister Barnaby Joyce's comparison of the deal to the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis and claimed Australia was threatening a military intervention in the nation. The Prime Minister is promising to shield senior Australians from the impact of the Reserve Bank's rate rise, announcing a freeze to the deeming rate for almost 1 million pensioners and Social Security recipients. Senior political reporter Jonathan Lee has the details from Scott Morrison's campaign. 